So, at Lambertville, um, it's definitely a warm day. I don't even have a coat on. Uh, it'll be interesting uh, what we find, just because there's a ton of vendors today. I would say the market's mostly full in the front and a quarter of the way full in the back, but hopefully uh, there's some good new inventory out there. I have to leave here earlier just because since it is above 60 today, there's uh, yard sales also. So, see what we get. Watch about that stuff. What do you get on the, do you only have the one? Yeah, I have only one, three bucks, new side. Yeah, it's really nicely carved. Three bucks for the new side. I think I'll get that for three. It's got some magic cards, mostly new it looks like. See what this one is. Maybe the small one has some rare guys. And it's all the newer stuff. Every once in a while you find something old though at the flea market. They're only $15 a box, so it's pretty cheap. You want me to leave one open so people can see what it is? I'll put a, I think, I think they'll sell. Um, I price it reasonably, right? Oh, no, it's definitely a good price. I bought a whole bunch of them at the auction, you know, $10 a piece, that's it. I, th I think those will sell right away. I gave you a special price. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I would ask, like, if, like, if I don't know the guy, I would give, like, 25 you know? How, uh... It's carved. Yeah, it's, it's missing, it's that missing yeah, one here. I do a buck on this one. And All right, so bucks. I got four bucks all together. I was going to put that right there. What do you get on the pins? Oh, all different, man. Some of them are more expensive, like 340 is more expensive. This one would be a buck. Yeah. Some of them four, some of them five. Depends. I separate these are kind of like I like them better. Yep. Well, I'll make a little pile and we'll yeah, see what the pile. see what we get. Yeah, you always seem to get a box of jewelry. Uh, yeah, I picked it up all the time. I go, you know, I go through like two. Go, go through my lots to see like you know go for gold for silver and stuff well that's it's amazing how much gold and silver i find by uh you, I, I buy about 40 pounds 30 pounds a week of jewelry right of jewelry and, yeah you know some weeks you do good some weeks you don't do good no nah, it's know. it's definitely true but when you do good it's <laughs> But it's all labor, you know, it's hours of searching and hours of going through it and sorting and learning. And I, I, did, uh, I did the same thing for probably uh, 10, 15 years and I used to take it all right up to New York City and go sell it. Yeah. And uh, now, it's, I don't know, I could pick out a piece of gold pretty fast after doing, I probably did two tons of jewelry that I've sorted over my life. <laughs> I, I would easily two tons of jewelry I've sorted. But, you know, gold filled has like a different look and you, you can pick the gold pretty fast. You know, I turned my fingers yellow for, uh, for testing everything to see, see what it was. And now if I have any like real question, because it it's not marked, I, uh, I just bring it to my buddy. I have bags and bags of stuff which is not marked. Uh -huh. but, you know, it's all small stuff. Like if it's big stuff, like you know, you could test, you know, the, like machine or whatever. You can, you know, those yeah, yeah. Same machines they have right now. You know what I mean? I used to do very good off of a coin shop that would uh, only use that uh, type, of, uh, the X-ray machine at thing, and he would always mess up with the gold filled or and the low, it would never the have low. Nice. Well, no, the low carat gold would uh, get screwed up sometimes. Mm -hmm. So. It, the stone definitely works better than those because sometimes you get a misreading. 
I used to buy a lot of the nine carat off of him, uh, and then goes. Who got a different strategies? Like my strategy is like, if something looks like I could be, like I just put on the side, and you know, like, and then you have all pile of the same good stuff, and you just go to it, you know, non magnetic and all of that. Yep. No, that, I. That's the one thing I've not been doing as much as using my magnet. But I can It's never know. Uh, never know what you're gonna find. All right, I got a big pile now. All this stuff. Yep. Alpaca. Gotta be doing this one. Buck four, five, six. Some chips. It's missing the center stone. I think that's everything. How about 20 bucks for all of it? That's perfect. Thank you. And uh, so it's 24 with the bear and the loose side. Right. All right. Thank you. What do you get on the little bunny? You know, if it, uh, it's probably Vaseline glass, right? Or mm -hmm. Got in a bunny kick recently with the... Uh, a friend of mine. I guess that's it. It's like I forgot my thing. I pity that fool. I pity the fool. <laughs> <laughs> got a good Star Trek lot. Yeah, there's a lot of Star Trek. So you should you should try uh, Columbus one day, just because a lot of the toy guys get there. Tell your buddy if you want to see. I will. What are you getting on the boxer? I mean, I, he does have the little chip. Have a little chip. I'll give you for five. How's that? I got to do five. I don't know. That's the second thing I got that's uh, broken today. But I have all those carving tools. I love that thing. Detail's great. It's great. I have a couple friends that have boxers. How about these things? Do you know what the hell that is? I'm not sure. Man. Air compressor. That? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what. See that right there? This turns the motor. This That's my guess. Air hose. See? Psh. That's that's my guess. Could be water, but or pump. All right, so make it 40 with the door and take them to. <laughs> Oh, you got some cufflinks. I got plenty of cufflinks. Yeah, I'm trying to make a nice pile of cufflinks. <laughs> that's all. That's all I used to sell on, online when I first started. <laughs> I've got plenty of cufflinks. I, I gotta find this lighter for this guy. If it's so bad, he's been waiting for it. Is this like for carpal tunnel? That's a vintage like, vibrator. They used to put on your head and vibrate. Yep. Your hand. That's but women use it for different things. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Will. What do you get on the hose nozzle? Um, I'm like 15 on that. And just for a garden hose, right? Um, I think it was originally for it will fit a garden thank hose. Thank you. But I, thank you. Uh, I think it was originally for maybe one of the old fire extinguishers that you. Oh, uh, okay. You know, and, yep. And into that. It Nine. does have a, an adjustment on the end of it also, like the outer nozzle to twist too. Oh, this? Mm -hmm. Definitely different. Yeah, uh, yeah it's brass, solid brass, you know? Yep. I, I would say 1930s, 40s. I would even go 20s, but... Okay. Definitely could be. Radio is nice. No cracks? Uh, no cracks. No, it's a battery op. Yeah, it's, they're hard to find without being broken for some reason. <laughs> yeah. They're always left in the attic. Yeah. 
Yeah, no cracks. What do you get on the little? The keys are $10. That's not a bad price. I don't think it's supposed to be Diana the Archer. I think that's supposed to be, be her bow arrow. and arrow. Yeah, if yeah. you look here, it has a little. What uh, what do you get on here. her? So 175. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, she's 1920s, early 30s. <sighs> I can't decide what I want. <laughs> We got puzzles. Another odd onyx stopper. Yeah, some cool stoppers. What are you getting on stoppers today? Well, I would love to do the whole lot. Whole lot? Yeah. I'm sorry. Morning. Yeah. Don't be sorry. Because I feel like there's like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars there. They, you know, they, isn't. well, now they, they seem like they sell five, ten I bucks. Like, each. Yeah, I saw like six for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks. You're right, yeah. yeah. So I figured, you know, I was gonna split them up and do it myself because you guys just don't want to give me any money. For it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, am I crying helping you? No, no. good luck. No. <laughs> <laughs> have, a, have, a, have a nice day. <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> We don't either, but we when we get them right, you know. And we sell it, they sell it. You know, they sell it. What do you get on the album? Uh, I need 40 on that one. Yeah, cats. Not a bad price. There's a tin type. There's some good some, some good pictures in there. Mm -hmm. Pretty early stuff. State Capitol Albany. Wonder if he was a senator. Good luck, fellas. Okay, yeah, thanks. Too. Good seeing you. <sighs> Raccoon? What's that skull, Rich? Uh, I think it's Fox. Fox? Yeah. All right. Be amazed if people buy skulls. Uh, they sell all the time. Yeah. Well, good luck. Yep. What do you get on the belt buckle? Uh, five. For the big pen. It's kind of fun. If it's a real one, I think most of them are sometimes a refill. Nice hook. What do you get on the old hook? Uh, three bucks. I'll do that. There's another nice old hay hook here too. That one's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I just like that's, this that's one. Different. I'm gonna yeah, this is for pulling. Oh, it's a. It's like a toy. Nice lead hammer. Not sure what this does. I guess you put. It's got a fire brick. I'm not sure. My buddy Jim's setting up. Well, I like that bowl I got off you last time, Jim. What bowl? That orange bowl with the flowers or whatever it had on it. Why? I don't know. It just was nice. I was hoping you had more from that antique store. Yep, this is it. You should get that maritime bowl. Eh, it's not quite for me. Still got the snail. Yeah, I didn't know what I was going to do with it the other day. What do you want for uh, the stainless steel? Uh, Kid set. How many is it? Two. Uh, dollar piece. Mickey always does well. Easy sell online these uh, the stainless steel. All right.
Let's see if we find anything else. I, I have to check them. Okay. Yeah. Give me a few minutes, okay? It's kind of cute. Does it have a signature, do you think, or? I don't know anything about it yet. Uh, All right, not a problem. I'll come bother you in a second. There's a little bit of controller and some games. Takes a half an hour. Put the blankets on the table. I'm trying to untangle controller wires without a. What do you want on the two controllers in these games? Thirty-five. Take the whole the whole thing, Dave. The whole everything in that box. Whatever's left for Tari. We can put a chain. Don't worry about it. Now you can sell the Atari. I'll, I'll just take. I'll, I'll do that for thirty-five with the two controllers. You got it, buddy. Got a little memory card thing too. Let's make sure there isn't any good Atari games before we say that. ET is supposed to be pretty bad. I guess that's it. You don't happen to have a bag, do you? Of course, sir. Kirby. We have a bag for you, sir. Bags are $10. That's fine. I'm going to take that off of the asking price of 35 though. <laughs> <laughs> so I owe you 30 right? <laughs> Just That's all these are. Yeah, and the two controllers. Yamaha. Thank you. So, did pretty good today. I ended up finding a few pins for uh, $20. Um, this uh, Kramer pin is just huge. Uh, did get the Vaseline glass uh, nesting rabbit. It's got a diamond with a B inside it. I'm not sure which company that was. Uh, bought this leather wallet. Uh, the leather is really uh, still pliable. It's probably from the 50s is my guess. I've had the earlier one too. I don't think it's ever really been used. Um, the bear with the broken ear and uh, the boxer, the wood carved boxer and it's, it's carved really really well. Uh, he also has a little chipped ear. Now with this one I don't know if I would uh, might just recarve that ear just a hair and uh, you wouldn't really uh, see the chip. It's not a. It's about the same uh, same distance or same height. Just the front part fell off. So if you, if you get the little knife and uh, recarve that, and then just just stain it, you'll never uh, never see the never see the chip. It's really nice carving though. For five dollars, that's probably one of the better uh, wood dogs I've had. Uh, did get that uh, cool uh, tow, tow hook for three bucks and uh, all of the uh, different I bought the Nintendo stuff for uh, 35 so I got uh, three Mario's a Pokemon Kirby I think is a decent game so I think I did pretty good I was uh, happy to get out there, and the sun's out now, so it's just a really, really, really nice day. Uh, hopefully I spend the rest of it at the, at the warehouse working on some uh, scrap. Um, I don't think I showed you guys, I showed you the wrong side of the Lucite flowers. I just, I always like these hand-carved Lucite flowers. It's a shame there was only the one, but... 
maybe I'll take it off that base and turn it in or pull it into the center of that base. It's just really pretty. All right. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet, uh, please leave me a message and, uh, I'm going to go list these pins too. It's definitely a very nice day. All right. Peace. I recarved the ear just a little bit. Now it just needs stain. Um, I took uh, just a hair off of this this one, so that way they kind of lined up. Um, but it's almost there, and matching the stain shouldn't be hard at all.